Welcome to the Know Yourself channel, where making astrology known and understandable is the number one priority. I'm a Scottish astrologer, and in this video, I talk about Uranus entering the sign of Taurus on May the 15th this year, at the exact same time, basically, as a new moon in Taurus is taking place. And what all this could mean, in my opinion, but not only that, but by also comparing our current global situation to the global situations of history, the past two occasions that Uranus last entered the sign of Taurus. Now, as on this occasion, there is a new moon in the same sign at nearly the exact same time that Uranus does enter Taurus. There's only 12 minutes apart from being exact, okay? This is a very peculiar coincidence if you do believe in coincidences, okay? But on an even more powerful moment in time for this transition of Uranus to occur, okay, it's happening in the exact same moment as a new moon in the same sign you're on, okay? Now, Uranus is a powerful, dynamic energy that brings great change and revolution. And Uranus hates to be located in the earthy sign of Taurus, it's in his fall there. Which is all about finances, material goods, gain, and all the bad qualities of its ruler Venus will come into play because of Uranus not wanting to be in Venus's house or sign. Now negative qualities such as pride, love and luxury, and gain over everything at any cost. Being a materialist basically. Also, wickedness, corruption, and being immoral in all areas of life. Now, not all people will be affected by these qualities, but the biggest majority of them will during this uh, transit of Uranus going into the sign of Taurus, during the duration that Uranus, Uranus spends in that sign. Okay, this will be the effect that is going to occur with people, not all people, but most people, like most people already are acting in this sense already on earth as we can see. Now on top of this, and most unfortunately, the new moon, so the conjunction of the sun and moon in Taurus, is at 24 degrees of Taurus and so is conjunct with Capu Algol, which is known as the blinking demon and is considered by astrologers of old and new to be the most negative and destructive of all the fixed stars. And it has also been observed by the ancients that this fixed star is linked with mass violence and mass catastrophe, okay? So that's something to be aware of, considering our current climate. But on top of this, we have Saturn in rulership in Capricorn, okay? And Saturn loves to cause necessary havoc as he sees it, shall we say. And this is worrying, as not only is Saturn making a trine aspect to his friend Mercury, who is conjunct with Uranus as he enters the sign of Taurus, but because of the energy Saturn is directing to Mercury, who is the messenger of the gods, and through the energy Saturn is directing ultimately to his father, which is Uranus, is coming from a, another very negative fixed star called Faces, which is all about war, death and coldness, okay, coldness. Now that's interesting term for what's been going on recently with all the weather, which is very interesting and we can't see it getting any better anytime soon. <laughs> Now, this energy coming from this fixed star is just pure, harsh, combative energy. And this is very worrying, considering our current climate, both political and, again, through what we have seen with all this weird cold weather, and also freak events in nature from earthquakes, underground earth activity that's setting off volcanoes left, right and centre. Now, this bad configuration is very worrying, to say the least, okay? As on top of that, we also have Mars, which is in exaltation in the sign of Capricorn also. And Mars is making a square negative aspect to his enemy Mercury and Uranus, which are in Taurus conjunct, as you can see. Now this is also worrying because of the martial exalted energies of the God of War. 
Mars, sending his energies forth at that particular moment to our thoughts being Mercury. Now Mars is also sending his energy to the Sun and New Moon, which are both Mars's friends by a trine aspect and so a fitting aspect. Now the sun is our hearts and spirits and the moon is our mind, soul and emotions. So this martial energy is going to affect us in the biggest way possible, okay? Now this is not the energies you want to come into play the moment that Uranus is making a transition from one zodiac sign to another, okay? Now, the last time that Uranus entered the sign of Taurus was in the year 1934 through to the year 1942. Now, this is important. So, during the build-up to and during World War II, okay? Now, Uranus tends to retrograde back into Aries after it goes into Taurus. It did during this period and it will again this time round in 2018, this year. And the date this year it does retrograde back into Aries is on the 7th of November. Now I think this is interesting seeing Aries and the ruling planet Mars is all about war. And we can see each time this happens in history it brings war, okay? Now the last time Uranus entered Taurus before the World War II transition occurred was around the year 1850 through to roughly 1857. And during that occasion, okay, during the seven years it spends in the sign roughly, during those seven years, we had, in the middle of them, this war lasted roughly two years, but in the middle of those seven years we had the Crimean War, which was fought between Imperial Russia and an alliance of the United Kingdom, the Second French Empire, the Ottoman Empire, which is now Turkey, and the Kingdom of Sardinia, which is basically it basically Italians. And as we can currently see, all this seems to be brewing up once again with similar players, just a different moment in time, with slightly different circumstances etc. But the plot of war always seems to be the same and repeat when it comes to Uranus entering the sign of Taurus. So as we know and can see, history has a strange and peculiar way of repeating itself. And this is indeed due to particular planetary cycles repeating at different points throughout history and time. And the plot is always the same. In this case, it is obviously war and human catastrophe. But the events etc. surrounding the plot vary from cycle to cycle because of, firstly, the moment in time the cycle completes or occurs and also due to the different extra planetary influences interacting with the planet making its cycle or journey through the different signs of the zodiac. And each time Uranus, for example, comes back into the sign of Taurus after retrograding into Aries and then coming back in, there will be different planets in different positions, conjunct different stars etc. that are sharing their influence on Uranus uh, at the moment that does enter the sign of Taurus initially and this has been the case throughout history okay so that causes slightly different circumstances slightly different feeling and consciousness throughout humanity okay on a slightly different energetic level so we really all should be taking note of this event and remembering more importantly what happened on the other past occasions that Uranus did enter the sign of Taurus. Now, I'm not making this video to try and scare people or anything. I'm just doing my own personal duty, as I see it, of making you aware and warning you, well, the people who want to listen, okay, of this once-in-a-lifetime event, <clears throat> for us anyway. We won't see it again in our lifetimes. And what if, what it could possibly bring for us, okay, that's why I need to just make people aware, just look, don't even take my word for it, just look at history, the past two times that occurred, and just look at the exact same things that happened, it's pretty weird, so just take that into consideration <clears throat> and think, could it possibly happen again, uh, if you take the current climate and the situation uh, into consideration, then we most likely could, okay. 
Now I hope history does not repeat itself once again, I really do, but it's looking like it will with again the current global climate, looking grim to say the least, and all, all of these things lining themselves up towards a repeat of the historical Uranus Taurus cycle events, okay? <coughs> Now, even if you are hearing all about peace, which we are now hearing a lot about, peace, 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 that is the time when it should be most suspicious, because that's the time when destruction follows most swiftly, okay, and if history has anything to go by, and if warnings from people from history, okay, the same thing, when peace, 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 that's when destruction comes swiftly, okay, so just interest in the moment in time this is all occurring with everything going on and everything that happened in history so if you like this video please give it a like please share this video please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already a huge thanks for watching guys take care and i'll see you again soon with another video thanks for watching